Tonight's Burlington School Board meeting got heated during public comment and ultimately ended with this exchange. Your school policy says in your handbook, if it restricts a person from learning, they're not supposed to wear it. The school district confirms to 12 News the meeting adjourned before any decisions were made on mass mandates. 12 News' Caroline Reinwald continues our live coverage in Wauwatosa, where that district is planning to vote tonight. Caroline? Uh, we just stepped out, Joyce, and they're still hearing from public comment now. We're still waiting on the board to vote on this plan, uh, which goes over whether or not masks would be mandated in schools and when, and also goes over if and when the school district may have to shut down in the future, depending on community infection rates. Uh, now, in a recent survey of which 7,400 responses were collected, the majority of staff and students surveyed supported only unvaccinated people wear masks, uh, whereas the majority of families surveyed supported everybody wears masks. Now, however, here in person tonight, uh, we saw the majority of parents who spoke here in person strongly opposed to any mask mandates in schools. My sincere concern is that she will go through half of her high school career, if not more, without her teachers seeing her smile and vice versa. You're not a doctor. You can't decide what goes on his face. You're not going to decide and rate how children wear masks on their face. That's not happening. How many years are we going to have to come here to put code of COVID protocols in place for a virus that will likely never go away? You don't have the authority to make medical decisions for our children. Parents, if we go and we just send our kids to school without masks, there's not really much that they can do about it. They are accountable to us. We don't ask them for permission to make medical decisions for our children. So Caroline, the board has yet to vote on this. The plan also covers when the district would have to make a decision on a shutdown? Right, the plan recommends the district uses uh, a guideline of five operating levels when deciding on masks and other school procedures, level one being extremely low infection rates, level five being extremely high infection rates. Uh, at levels four and five, the administration would call an emergency board meeting to potentially shut down the district and currently based on community infection rates, uh, the superintendent said that the district would technically be at a level four once they begin the classes, Joyce. And we'll continue to monitor to see if a vote takes place. Caroline Reinwald reporting. Thank you. The West Dallas West Milwaukee School Board also met tonight. It also voted to reinstate mask requirements for all students, staff and visitors indoors.